Shoot it. They gonna catch him probably. happening people so hey look today is day three of our rabbit hunt in south carolina and uh just put the dogs on the ground you can see them. we just dumped them out of the box we cut down on the pack we've got some older dogs we've hunted and they've been starting to pull down a little bit so we left some of our older dogs back and uh, so we got mostly the younger pack and so hey sometimes it's good to cut your pack down to see who might take the lead who who drops back if you have any issues in your pack so, hey guys stay with us and let's go jump a rabbit oh we got the rabbit up you can hear him running in the background they've shot at the rabbit we're trying to get the position so we can get a shot at it Get him? I smell gunpowder. He get across. Oh, you got him? Good deal. Huh? Oh shoot! And then he got by her, and I was trying to get. I did this number here, trying to get my gun off. <laughs> and I missed him the first two times. I hit him right before he got in here. I I knew there was some hesitation there, so. You gone? Yeah, he's gone. It's time to take him like yeah. Yeah, I was gonna. Chop him. On the back of the neck. So at this point, we got the rabbit. Of course, you saw that, and uh. Hannah and Chris shot the rabbit. And when the dogs first brought the rabbit down, they came down to some laps, uh, just small laps, and uh, they had a check. And they turned around and circled and uh, didn't get back on the rabbit. So a lot of times when they do that, what I'll do or what we do normally is wherever they cut off at, for whatever reason, they may not be able to get on the track, I'll... Uh, I'll go right there to where they lost it at, call them back in there, and let them work that area for them to pick it up. And as soon as I did that, they got down there and they got in a big enough circle that they picked the track up and uh, carried the rabbit on into another block of woods. And of course, he came back and we got to kill the rabbit. So sometimes you have to do that as a hunter, is if they, you know, to kind of help the dogs out, remind them where they lost the track at, get them back in there and uh, get them back on the track. Just jump one right in there. As you can hear, there's a trailing rabbit in here in this thicket. And uh, somebody saw him squirt out over on that side. So we'll get over there and get the dogs on him. Just opening right here. 
So let me give you an update. So where we were earlier, we wasn't finding any rabbits. Hey, and sometimes it's just like that. We don't know whether somebody else has been in there rabbit hunting, the coyotes, but normally we find a bunch of rabbits. And uh, dogs just jumped a rabbit. So we decided to pack up, come back to a, another section of woods, which is very close to where we were yesterday, and uh, to set up. And uh, so we just dropped the dogs down. It's a little bit after 12 o'clock. And uh, so we come in here. You can see it's kind of thick behind me. So the dogs has jumped a rabbit. And everybody's, uh, everybody's set up and uh, looking for the rabbit. So, hey, we got hunters up here. Kenny is down through here. So we're going to get still and see if we see this rabbit. Shooting like y'all. They gonna catch him probably. Hannah got to shoot at the rabbit again. And uh, I took a pop shot at him as he went through the thicket. Gosh, I thought we hit the rabbit. He looked like looked like he rolled over, but anyway, the dogs has carried him on up in this thicket right here. We got hunters moving around. I'm gonna hang out right here because it's thick in there. The rabbit might make a loop and come right back. So stay with us. Let's see if we get this rabbit. He got it. We, so you seen us shoot at him uh, on the camera. He went back in this thicket behind us, all the way to the far side, out in the field, come back into the thicket. And uh, he got by me out here on the edge of this field, going down and went in the thicket back here on this other field. And uh, started back down the ditch line and, and, uh, and Justin got him coming back up to this same thicket right here. So, man, that rabbit has give us a run in here. Hey, them dogs chunked that rabbit, didn't they? Hey guys, I think we're gonna end it. It's getting on us about 2.30 now. And uh, I think we're gonna end it for the day. Give the dogs a rest. Uh, we've got a couple of more days to hunt. Hey guys, as always, we appreciate you watching. We appreciate all the support we get for the channel. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to click that like button and click the notification bell so you don't miss an episode of Wildlife Adventures. Hey, and you remember, it's a wildlife, and I'll see you in the field. Who missed the rabbit?
What happened? I killed all three. They know it. She was over there with me. I thought you said Kelsey killed a rabbit and you took him. Mm -hmm. That's what she said. So she was. You didn't close take to Kelsey's him. rabbit, did you? Mm -hmm. She shot at him first. Oh, she shot at him first. Yeah. Oh. So he, she was. I mean, he was 15 yards from her. Yeah. She missed it with a 12 oh, gauge. How many times she shoot? Once or twice. What the world? And then he come right to me, so I finished him off. But he was still hopping. He didn't. He didn't. I mean, he might have been a little clipped, but it wasn't. I'm giving shooting lessons when we get back to the cabin. <laughs>